All right, here we have a proof in our special angle pairs in their measures section. This is asking us to prove the alternate interior angles theorem. Remember, alternate interior angles are the two angles on the inside of our two parallel lines, and they are going to be congruent. But we're going to show you why that's actually true here in this, um, in this proof. We're going to prove that theorem to be true. Okay, so here we're given that P is parallel to Q. So I went ahead and drew these arrows on there to show the, our parallel. And we need to prove, our last proof statement here, that angle 1 is congruent to angle 2. That's the alternate interior angles on the inside of those two parallel lines. How do I prove that? Well, first off, P uh, is parallel to Q. That's my given. All right, that was given to me. And then angle one is congruent to angle three because of our corresponding angles postulate. All right, corresponding angles postulate. Remember, these are in the same position. They're both in the bottom left, bottom left of those uh, of each of their respective intersections. Bottom left, bottom left. So their corresponding angles postulate means that those are going to be congruent as long as, of course, P is parallel to Q, which, of course, it is. All right, angle three is congruent to angle two. Well, why is that true? That's true because of the vertical angle theorem, right? They're across from each other in that X type of shape. So therefore, because of vertical angles, they are congruent. All right, and then lastly, angle one is congruent to angle two. We can see that they both have the same loops now, right? But they're congruent to angle two based off of our lines before this because of the transitive property, all right? If you look at one being congruent to three, three being congruent to two, if I cross out that middle man of three, now one is congruent to two, which is what um, line four tells us. So this is by the transitive property. All right, so by a transit property of congruence, those work. And again, just a reminder, the order does work there, so it's not substitution or anything like that. This one actually is the transitive property.